everything inside me. Bella Porch, one of the most popular TikTokers of all time, got a record deal. Since then, everything about her is all about occult elite symbolism. Here's a look at her first video, Build a Ch**. While most adults probably never heard of her, Bella Porch is a huge star. Her first music video garnered over 260 million views on YouTube in only a few weeks. As a comparison, Beyoncé's latest music video, which was released over 10 months ago, sits at 40 million views. That's over six times fewer views. So, who's Bella Porch, and where does she come from? The answer is simple. TikTok. Indeed, Bella Porch's immense popularity is a direct result of the immense popularity of TikTok, the favorite video sharing platform of children and teenagers across the world. Other than acting as a massive data collection operation for its Chinese mother company ByteDance, TikTok is currently shaping youth culture in ways we still cannot completely fathom. For instance, there are growing concerns regarding the TikTok to OnlyFans pipeline, where influential TikTokers graduate to OnlyFans and generate revenues by posting explicit content. But there's also another much more exclusive pipeline that is reserved for the most popular TikTokers the TikTok to entertainment industry pipeline. Bella Porch went through that pipeline and emerged a true industry slave. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Like many TikTok stars, Bella Porch became famous by posting videos of her lip cinching to various songs, performing dance moves, and catering to the needs of thirsty boys by wearing revealing cosplay outfits. She is mostly known for creating M to the B, the most liked TikTok of all time with 50 million likes. This is screenshots from the most popular TikTok ever. I don't get it. Following the insane virality of this TikTok, which might have been helped by the app's enigmatic algorithm, Porch became the fourth most popular TikToker with over 73 million followers. Of course, record execs saw these figures and salivated abundantly. So in May 2021, Porch signed a music deal with Warner Records. Immediately after, everything relating to Bella Porch became drenched in the symbolism of the occult elite. For instance, here's the cover art of Build a Bitch. If you've watched other videos on this channel, you surely recognize a whole lot of symbols in this cover art. This image basically says, Bella Porch is now officially an industry pawn. We own her. Her career is now entirely dedicated to pushing our agenda to her young fans. First, the character hides one eye using a dagger, effectively forming a very obvious one eye sign. I could stop the video right now, because that sign sums up everything Bella is now about. But there's so much more. The cover art is also filled with symbolism that relates to the dark world of MKUltra, more specifically monarch programming. First, there's a bunch of butterflies in her hair, one of the main symbols representing monarch programming, monarch is a type of butterfly. Also, there are decapitated teddy bears around her, a classic MK symbolic representing the loss of innocence of child slaves. In MK programming, teddy bears are given to slaves to form a bond. Then, they are confiscated and or destroyed by the handlers to cause trauma. The character also has a robotic arm on which is written build a bitch. MK slaves are often portrayed as robots or androids that are programmed to perform specific tasks. This is an MK-themed photoshoot. Butterfly over the mouth, equals the silence and powerlessness of MK slaves. In short, this cover art fully represents the insidiousness of Bella Porch marketing. In order to cater to her young fans, the art is cartony and colorful. However, the symbolism portrays Bella as a victim of trauma-based mind control. 
The video of Build a Bitch conveys the exact message. The song Build a Bitch is a carefully calculated piece of elite indoctrination. In order to cater to her young fans, the song has a catchy melody that actually sounds children's song. However, the lyrics, combined with the visuals of the video, communicate lots of elite sponsored messages and symbols. Like countless other pop songs that were released in the past years, Build a Bitch has a pseudo-feminist empowering message. This is the hook. This ain't Build a Bitch. You don't get to pick and choose. Different ass and bigger boobs. If my eyes are brown or blue. This ain't build a bitch. I'm filled with flaws and attitude. So if you need perfect, I'm not built for you. However, as I said before, symbols rule the world. Not words. Despite the words of the song, the visuals of the video confirm that this is build a bitch. In fact, we see Bella literally being assembled in a factory, a perfect metaphor to illustrate the creation of an MK slave by the occult elite. The video begins with a bunch of men waiting in line for a custom-made wife. The logo of the store features a sexy woman with a wind-up mechanism. An apt way of describing a sex kitten slave. Inside the building is a factory that builds women, a symbolic way of depicting an MK programming facility. On the assembly line are the heads of Bella and other celebrities such as ex-adult film star Mia Khalifa. A great cameo for a video that will be mostly watched by minors. A slave is now fully assembled. So, this build a bitch factory is basically a metaphor for MK programming. Disembodied heads, which represent programmed alter personas, are screwed on blank bodies, which represent dissociated slaves that are primed for programming. However, Bella Porch is different. She is defective. When Bella comes out of the machine, one of her eyes glitches. The glitch indicates that she is defective. However, it also produces a one-eye sign, indicating that she's accomplishing exactly what the elite wants her to do. The first thing Bella does is to kill the man who ordered her. I guess this is supposed to be a feminist and empowering moment. In actuality, this scene depicts a murder, carried out by an MK slave. Then, Bella starts breaking everything, and an army of defective robots come out of the machine. This screenshot shows Bella gives the defective slaves axes, so they can destroy things. And then, the video ends with Bella and her defective friends limping awkwardly, as people run away and the factory burns down. This narrative is a classic example of elite doublespeak. At face value, the video appears to be about empowered women rebelling against the system. However, what we are actually seeing are broken robots committing murders and wreaking havoc. They are not empowered women, they're MK slaves accomplishing exactly what the elite wants them to do. The role of industry slaves is to wreak havoc on the minds of the masses. They are defective by design because they are used to confuse and corrupt. Bella Porch became a viral sensation among children and teenagers because she was good at making cute faces on TikTok. After she got signed with Warner, everything about her became about the occult elite. Then, that imagery was heavily promoted to her 66 million followers on TikTok and other platforms. The occult elite preys on the minds of the young, and it recruits anyone that has any kind of influence on them. While Porch's path to stardom is somewhat different than most pop stars, her video Build a Bitch is no different than the countless MK-themed videos that were analyzed on this channel. Using the same exact symbolism that was pointed out in other videos on this channel, Build a Bitch depicts the creation of MK slaves by the industry machine. These defective slaves are then released into the world, programmed to infect unsuspecting fans with their equally defective and corrupt agenda. And, once Bella Porch will stop being popular, the machine will build another bitch that will be surrounded with the exact symbols while pushing the exact same message. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly.
You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.